It's a terrible shame. That 20 years after building his dream house along the water so he could pursue his passion of boating, Don Hedig's dock is now empty. He had no choice but to move his boat out of here, and the reason is out there, where due to sand and silt deposits, the channel at the mouth of Braddock Bay is now less than two feet deep and filling in fast. It means only the smallest of watercraft can now pass, a perilous voyage at best, as he learned two weeks ago when he decided to move his boat to Sotus. He finally got out into the lake after about an hour and a half. And that was with his son-in-law waiting out in front of his boat looking for deep spots. But to him, it's more than about a man without its boat. He sees a lost economic opportunity. This bay could be opened up to transient boaters from Canada coming over here and spending their money over here. And nowhere is the economic impact more evident than at Braddock Bay Marina, where most of the slips are now empty. Occupancy three years ago was about 90%. Uh, now it's probably about less than 20%. That's why we lost jobs here last year. And uh, we're down to uh, just one mechanic and uh, a minimal office staff. And it's not just the recreational boaters who are leaving. The Sheriff's Department used to keep a patrol boat down here. They no longer do because they're concerned about the shallow channel. And someone else also decided to pull up stakes. This isn't a new problem. Precisely 30 years ago, we found ourselves in much the same boat. Back then, though, the state came through with emergency dredging, and in later years, the town of Greece would do the job. But a few years ago, the town government said it would no longer dredge, and Gibbs, who spent $70,000 of his own money to do it last year, says he can't afford to any longer. Will it eventually fill in? Yes. And Braddock will become like a paddock, landlocked from the lake beyond. In the meantime, we wait. We're just hoping not to lose a lot of money, and uh, we'll just keep operating. Come hell or low water. In Grace State, McKinley News 8 Now.